the Thor's Weapon Quest from Avengers Infinity War line that comes with a highly anticipated group, teenage group, and yeah, and has the little drop ship that attaches to the larger Milano set. Milano, I don't know, it's gonna be something like that. We'll see when it officially comes out. Okay, so first, this set comes with a set of these Power Blast pieces. Um, these I will be covering in a separate video, my opinions on them. So, um, I won't be really showing them in here. Um, this set comes with three minifigures. Groot, um, Rocket, and... Yeah, I, Thor. Can't think of Thor. Okay, so, let's first, first start off with the more disappointing build in the set. Okay. This is like the magic forge thingy that he uses to make his, um, I think, I haven't read the comic book yet, but it is a hammer axe. Yeah, I, I shouldn't do that. So, this actually, this build does use some of the power blast pieces that are included in the set. It's made features that you can spin this up and down, you can turn the laser knob that thing um and then you can create your giant ugly hammer thing woohoo i think it's just kind of boring it's just like woohoo back you just got this you do have these fairly nice stickers right there um it's just i don't know i don't know like how you're gonna use this with your thor minifigure that i will cover shortly um, that thing's nothing to really cover on this. This does come with the purple-ish infinity stone that does connect to the gauntlet on the other set. The big Milano thingy. I mentioned a lot. <laughs> the instructions also really don't have very much to offer. So they don't show a lot for the new wave. Just have that art. So, yeah. Um, this is the main build of the set. It's the escape part that attaches to, again, the big Milano set. Um, then you can get that for, like, 70 bucks. So this set, I, oh, wow. Oh, God. You, you failed. Put the Blackstone on the bubble stud. I believe that night, so don't, don't, don't be annoyed at me. You do get these pieces of gold. So I like that. Um, but pretty much it has first action features, two stud shooters. You know how those work? Lose the stud forever, usually. Um, the design is odd, okay? I'll give you that. It's odd. At first when I saw it, I was like, this by its own standalone set. But then it being attached to all the thing makes sense. I do like the inclusion of that dome, but I especially like the half half dome piece on the back and these are more of those connecting hinge thingies you know what i mean they're annoying no like it's supposed you're getting this in a lot of set um some stickers you have lots on the side hope that focuses with some just metal plating to more of the orange also what i like about the set tons of sand blue same stickers on the other side tons of it Happy, you can rotate these little fins, you can rotate these little fins, same, same for the other side. It is quite empty and hollow, but thankfully it's all covered up. Some more stickers on the top, hope you can see those, there you go. Um, one thing that I thought was fairly cool, I can't really get them out now, is those silver nugget, gold nugget kind of pieces, well they're silver nuggets. Um, I just never got those, so that's cool. This is really easy, just pop the top off. This is a 4x6 plate dark tan to build it off of. I think it's fairly good, it has some texture. Sand, sand blue, ugh, oh, really gets to me. Inside you have, well, three different kind of colored seats. You can have a white one in the, no, that's a gray one in the front, black one in the back, and then the middle one is brown. And you are able to fit all three minifigures in here that will cover shortly so you can fit those three oh sorry guys um you can fit those three figures right inside um like group rocket something no rocket goes in the front um something like that i had it in 
I'm gonna go. These are little jets that you can like push up and down. Um, that's what would propel it. Because this is an escape pod, so yeah. I also do like some of the pieces included. And the phone's ringing, so yeah, sorry about that. Just. Guess what it is? Telemarketers! We all love those. Okay, um. But pretty much that's really it for the speeder. Um, now going on to the. Shut up! Um. Going on to the minifigures, we have um, the Thor Avengers Infinity War Thor. And you can notice it does not have the eye patch. I was a bit skeptical on this, but apparently I think he lo he gets his eye back. I was going to say he loses his eye. Gets his eye back in the movie. No leg printing. The face is actually fairly good. They finally got correct hair color. Yeah, I think that piece is alright. I feel like they could have used a new one, but it works. It's probably the most disappointing figure of the wave. Not of the wave. Well, maybe of the wave. Um, back printing, just normal. It's just that. It's. But then you do get a double side printing with that fantastic, fantastic, crazy electricity eye face. Um, tell me what you think of these videos also. Um,. Next up is the Rocket Raccoon figure. This is a copy and paste from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 sets. Though it does have a new build for his gun with that kind of like orange, dark orange, something like that color on the Galaxy Squad thing. No, not Galaxy. I don't know. Alien, Alien Conga. This minifigure, I do really like it. Have a fantastic torso print with short legs, so you can't really put printing on them. The head sculpt is great. Uh, I can't. Head sculpt is fantastic. On the back, you have more of that mold that is all that is printed all around. First time I've actually. Oh my god, the focus. Sorry, guys. Um, gotten rocket yet? The back print you can kind of move the tail away to see it. There you can go. Sorry, guys. The quality is a bit bad right now. Um. Pretty simple, um, just a nice figure to get in a much cheaper set. The last figure, and probably the one everyone's gonna buy the set for, is the Teenage Groot figure. Comes with this little brown vine accessory, but no one really cares about that. Do you? Do you guys care about that? I don't know. Also, what I was wondering was, is this hinting to something move? Does he, get, does Thanos get armor back? I do not know, or they're just being lazy, because now on the front here, it shows him without a helmet, so I don't know. I really kind of don't know. Um, this figure in itself is good. Oh my god, the camera's... So you, you know what the face sculpt is, okay? You can see it from there. Face sculpt, there are some more, more detail lines on it. Um, the mouth is fairly bland. Back, there's nothing except for just that little bit. Can we get it? Yes. No. No, we cannot. Um, you got that little bit of vine torso. Maybe it's the color of the figure. Um, front, oh, there, there, now it decides to focus. There you go. I got a bit of a front. I don't know. The mold is great for the head. I just would have preferred more like a little printing on the sides because I was anticipating a bit of a better thing. So far, the set is fairly good, but I think it could have been made much better. Thank you for, for watching. Sorry, I'm getting I'm new at this. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and comment on the video if you have any questions. And stay tuned for more.